Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here, and we're going to do a beer review today. This one is by Six Point Brewery, and it's called Bengali. And it comes in at 6.6% .6 alcohol by volume, 66 IBUs. And uh, they're from Brooklyn, New York. And this is what the can looks like. I've never had this beer before. I've seen it a few times, but um, I could never get it fresh enough, but it looks like I did this time. It's canned on November 27, 2019, and today is uh, December 19th, so it's like three weeks old. It's very fresh. Again, that's what the can looks like. It's a skinny can, but it's 12 ounces. Uh, I got this out the door at Total Wine and More for like... Um, uh, what was it, 11 bucks out the door for a six pack of these? Let's see what's got here on the literature. Uh, it's, an, it's, um, it's an IPA. It says, It all started with an epic video game marathon back in 2004. Rocking Blaze, Orange Homebrew. We saw the foam rings down the glass like tiger stripes. Thousands of batches and tweaks later, the Bengali. Still slashes, tip it back, and let gravity do the work. Game on. And uh, that's pretty much all it says. Year round. Yeah, it's a year round serving, it looks like. Pretty trippy can. Skin looks like an energy drink. Uh, like a, um, what is that? Uh, you know, the energy drink stuff. Um, let's get it cracked open and see what we got here. It's very well dated on the bottom there. Had a little hole on the bottom of the uh, six pack. You, you can see the bottom. They made a little hole in the cardboard where you can see the date. So that's pretty cool. All right. I just did one of their other beers not too long ago. An IPA it was really pretty good. It was called Resin, I think. Yeah, Resin. It was good. All right. Let's get down the middle here. So far, I'm pretty impressed with these guys. That was, uh, yeah, like a little over 10 bucks, actually. No, it was like 11 bucks, yeah, out the door. Uh, $9.99 before tax, so. All right. So we got a huge, silky, frothy, creamy head. You have a pretty much a clear amber color maybe a very very slight haze to it but for the most part it's clear as you can see very slight haze to it perfect amber color really nice looking west coast style looking beer but they're from the east coast but it looks like it's a west coast style nice looking beer There's some bubbles streaming up from the bottom. You can see the clarity of it. Bengali. Bengali! Very nice looking beer. The head's turning rocky. It's holding the head really nice. All right, let's get an aroma on this puppy. Right up front, I'm getting some like uh, kind of earthy, herbal type uh, spices, hops, herbal, earthy hops. And there's some pine coming through, some, some piney type hops. But for the most part, it's like an earthy type spice. And then there's some pine in there. Pretty much it's just all hops, not real fruity or nothing. Ribbit. Like a West Coast style.
All right, well, let's get a hit. Cheers. Mmm. That's really tasty. That's very good. Yum. Got a medium mouthfeel. It's got a real nice, silky, like real smooth, not silky, but real smooth mouthfeel. Medium. Uh, the taste follows the aroma, except the taste is much more uh, dank than the aroma was. Yeah, that's really tasty. Has awesome uh, lacing on the glass, leaving rings and uh, killer head retention. This is a nice beer, very nice beer. It's very tasty. Um, so we got like uh, mainly like up front, we have the uh, earthy kind of spice type hops and then some pine in there mixed in with it and it's got really nice malt backbone uh balancing out all them hops with the nice sweet malt backbone but it's not a it's not a sweet beer but it has enough malts to balance out all the hops it's not bitter either it's a really nice balanced ipa cheers Very nice. Well, it's got a really nice aftertaste. It's not like your typical, like, West Coast style where it's just like really piney. This one has more of the earthy type herbal kind of uh, hops kind of up front. And then the more pinier type hops come in kind of right behind that and then that just really good malt backbone to balance all that out and this puppy comes in at um 6.6 percent alcohol by volume and uh, it hits it hits like a it's a higher alcohol beer because of the good mouthfeel that it has but there's no raw alcohol notes or nothing like that's very well constructed beer Man, for 6.6% and 60 IBUs, this has a lot of flavor. This is very, very tasty for a 6.6 percenter. Yeah. Mm. Wow, it's getting better as I go. Even though the notes are pretty much the same, but it's just getting tastier and tastier as... I'm getting down here on the glass. Mm. What a great beer. Um, I, I like this better than the resin one that I tried. I think it was last week. This is this is killer. Um, yeah, if you see this, for sure, if you can get it fresh, really good, really good beer. All right, well, on a scale of uh, one to five stars, I'm gonna give this puppy, um, hmm, probably like a 4.4, it's that good. This is very awesome. It's very fresh too, three weeks old. That probably has a lot to do with it. I was just in Total Wine yesterday and I didn't see it so they just must have just got it and so I got it pretty much as fresh as I'm going to get it at the Total Wine and more store that I go pick up my beers at. I might as well kill it here with you. See if we can pick up anything else on this last one. Cheers. Really nice lacing. Awesome malt backbone. Awesome hop uh, flavor too. It's really good.
Yep. Yeah, 4.4 4. 4 it is. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And 4.4 4 it is. That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. We'll catch you all later. See ya.